wrote the song a while back. Um, and honestly, it was kind of like, a, I think I sort of did it as sort of a writing exercise. I wasn't sure if it was going to be like, um, you know, really a keeper or anything like that. But it ended up being the single that um, went out for this EP. So, uh, and um, kind of the approach I took, I mean, just dealing with things that like you're afraid of. Um, I don't know about you, but um, for me, I feel like the things that I'm afraid of also carry a lot of shame with them. Um, just things that I kind of don't want to admit. Maybe it's because I feel like mm. I need to be like manly. Um, <laughs> uh, so I just like took a few, you know, like a, just some dark time in like a room with the lights out to just like, just write down like everything that I was afraid of on a piece of paper and just be like brutally honest. Like just say it in the most like, don't try and do yourself any favors with the way you phrase it. Just like put it out there the naked, shameful truth. Um, and I just did that for a while. I was feeling pretty down by the end of it. Um, and then uh, I just wrote, um, I just kind of picked some of those out and dropped them in as verses to this song. I was like, the goal was like, I was gonna write a song around it. So I used those as the lyrics um, for the verses going through here. And um, this chorus is kind of funny because it doesn't rhyme. Yeah, that's true. Um, so, looking back, I, I don't really know why that happened, but it yeah. works. Yeah, it does work. Um, so, this is actually the second time the song has been recorded. Sometimes you go through, like, if those of you that are unfamiliar with the way this works, I mean, songs get recorded more than once, oftentimes, before uh, you kind of arrive at the version that's um, the keeper. And uh, this one was, it was recorded once before, but um, I wanted to have it redone as part of... Um, as part of this EP, so it could all sort of feel like the same cohesive body. Um, I also sort of like used that, like when I was like looking for a producer to um, do this project, that was kind of the, that, that recording was a song that I used as kind of like a, like a, a proof of concept mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. Like this is sort of like the direction. Yeah. Um, and uh, the producer is right here in the room wow. with us. Um, so uh, he's just gonna kind of go through some of the production elements on this. Um, you know, obviously it's like it's kind of a sad song. Definitely like kind of the most downbeat one that's on yeah. the EP. So definitely mm -hmm. wanted to give it the space it needs to feel like intimate. Yeah. But um, also came up with some pretty cool stuff in mm -hmm. along the way as well. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, absolutely. We um, I think the courses are definitely more of like a soaring type of sound and then I think we uh, came to the bridge and really when you played me the song originally the bridge was just chords and there was no lyrics um, which yeah. I actually thought was cool because it's kind of like a moment of reflection almost mm -hmm. um, and so we decided to do something interesting with the bridge instead of just having you strum the chords so we kind of made this do you, do you have the ambient soundscape I do not have the intro okay. um, but I have the bridge fold up here um, but yeah, so I, I can just play the actual bridge um, with all the parts and then we can kind of dissect it. Well. reminds me of interstellar for some reason dude <laughs> what you mean um but anyways yeah it's, it's very like spacey it kind of all revolved around this lo-fi loop um, which was just some sort of loop i found and we ended up filtering it and putting some verb on it and some different effects um and i thought that was a really good foundation Verb is reverb for those of you watching yeah, at home. Sorry, <laughs> throwing out terms here. <laughs> um, then we, what did we do? We kept your acoustic chords. Yeah, that's kind of in the background a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we vibed them out a little bit more, so it ends up sounding more like this. So, 
kind of sounds like it's recorded off a VHS or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And it's also put so far to the back that it's just sort of like a yeah. it's more of a texture, honestly, at, at that point. Totally. Then. Mm -hmm. Um. And then what else we got? We have this little reverse thingy. Um. What is that? Let's see. no idea how yeah, we did that. I honestly forget what that was. <laughs> that happens. It's like, you get down this rabbit hole and at the end of it, you're just like, yeah, couldn't get, I couldn't get where, I, like where I am now, I couldn't get here again, but. I kind of prefer not knowing how I got sounds because I like to force myself to do it differently next time. <laughs> yeah, um, we'll go with that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. This is on purpose. That's an artistic explanation. Um, we did another, I believe this is some sort of uh, looping delay thing, like kind of like we did in the other song. Um, but let's, it happens towards the middle. Yeah. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. A little swelling synth sound. We took, I think we took a bit of the organ. Yeah. And filtered it and put it through some processing and ended up with that kind of a swelling. What program was this? This the blue one. Um, Omnisphere. Omnisphere. <laughs> Plug there. It's the money maker. And then I think kind of the backbone of that bridge is this little keys lick. was also from Omnisphere, um, and it goes really well, I think, with that loop. I mean, by itself, it's like, yeah, you know, pretty pleasant to listen to. And then, all together... Do you have the people talking? Oh um, yes, that's right. That was the last thing. So we add, we decided to add kind of like a, you know, cocktail party ambient. Yeah, almost. we kind of use ambient noise. We use this exact same. A lot of this this these the soundscape is pretty similar to what we did with the introduction mm -hmm. of this song. Yeah. Um, and honestly, like this is I think maybe my favorite piece of it. I can't really justify that, yeah. um, but I just really like it. Uh, like if you listen in close to the introduction to this song and also hear it out of the bridge, mm. there's this element of sort of like ambient conversation happening, sort of like you're at a party and mm -hmm. um, that's, uh, I don't know. I don't know why, I just love yeah. that part of it. Yeah. Um, I think it kind of came out of this sort of social anxiety element to the song. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, you can... Yeah. I mean... I wish I remembered where we found this. <laughs> Somewhere online. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and it kind of swells up into distortion almost. Yeah. Put it all back together and we can uh yeah. do it listen let's yeah, listen yeah. to it one more time. So we put everything back to together and we don't get anything. Yeah, so that's that's some of how we got these sounds done, and um, obviously there's a little bit more that went into it as well, but uh, as far as production goes, I think those are kind of the defining pieces of, um, you know, pieces of sound that we created. So, we'll spin around so we can say goodbye to the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>